guys, so I'm back again to show you guys my winter hair care routine. I'm going to show you guys how I keep my curls moisturized during the cold months. And yes, I'm wearing my onesie. So I love to shampoo my hair. So this Blueberry Bliss Reparative Hair Wash is one of my favorites because it moisturizes while it still lathers. So I'm going to start out by just focusing that on my roots. I don't section my hair when I shampoo. Um, I don't really feel like my hair needs it. I do just make sure I'm really getting to my scalp and not so much the rest of my hair because that's not where it needs it. I'm mainly just trying to cleanse my scalp. After I rinse that out, I, I recently discovered this, which I know I'm kind of late to the party. This was used on me recently at a salon and I decided to, you know, just splurge. It's probably the biggest natural hair purchase I've made thus far. But I don't know, I think it's worth it. I really like it. I like the smell, I like the slip. It's just really great. And I decided usually I don't use a rinse out conditioner. I usually just go straight to deep conditioning. But since it's the winter time, I decided to kind of add a little bit of extra moisture. And I do feel like this product is a good choice when it comes to moisture. So as you can see, I do section my hair when I detangle. I just use my fingers. Um, I don't really like using tools on my hair. I feel like it rips through my hair. So I do just kind of start from the ends and work my way up. After I rinse everything out, it's time to deep condition. I'm going to be using Shea Moisture's Manuka Honey and Marula Oil. It's probably the thickest deep conditioner I ever used in my entire life, <laughs> and I use a lot of it. I'm going to also section my hair with this as well. I do just kind of start out with putting it all over, and then I'm going to section my hair to see what parts didn't get any product on it, and then I'm just going to add more product to those sections. So after I have the product all throughout my hair, I do put my hair in a low bun. And then what's really important, especially in the winter time for me, is to use a plastic cap over my hair to kind of keep all the moisture in while I'm deep conditioning. So now it's time for styling. This is my favorite leave-in and I really want Camille Rose to put out more of these leave-ins. This is the Honey leave-in from her leave-in collection. It's super moisturizing, it's super thick. And I use this instead of my usual leave-ins, which is her Fresh Curl. This is a little bit heavier, on my hair at least. And so I do it to add a little bit of extra moisture underneath my gel during the winter time. I don't really use sections with this product. It's pretty like liquidy at the same time as being thick. I don't know how to describe it except for to say that it's like honey, which is funny because it's exactly what the product is called. Um, it, but it gets through the layers of my hair pretty well without me having to section things off. 
but I do section things off when it's time to style. So that's just what I'm doing here. Now with styling, if you saw my curly hair routine, I'm literally using the same technique and the same gel. I didn't show it in this video, I honestly forgot. It, it is the Kinky Curly Curling Custard though, and I feel like a lot of people know that product. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take smaller sections, rake the product through my hair, and then I do little finger coils just at my ends to kind of help clump the curls together. Sadly, at this point, my camera did die on me, but this is actually fourth day hair. My hair still feels moisturized, it's still defined. I did wash it maybe the next day after this. Um, not even because my hair necessarily needed it, I just wanted some fresh curls. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.